Hey, welcome back to the Ohio farm. Here on the Ohio Richlands map, it's the beginning of October. Uh, this morning we just finished doing our soybean harvest on the field over there by the west place. We came back with the Jeep and the header on the trailer and put it back into the uh, building out back. And uh, we're gonna get some lunch, but while I'm over here, because I had forgotten, a uh, guy had asked me to uh, do some drone footage over the uh, farms and I forgot to do it so I'm going to get it done now before I forget again then I'll go in and finish my lunch while Mrs. Nebraska Jim uh, is able to finish making it so I'm going to come over here I'm going to put the drone on this rock here and then I'll take it off from there and out don't really have a nice drone like the guys on PC. The resolution won't be great, but we'll do the best that we can. All right, so let's see if we can get it in the air here. All right, there we go. It's in the air. Let's try and get it up here. All right. Oh, I don't want to be over the highway so much, do I? So I'm going to head it over towards... Uh, Bill's place here, if I can. There's this truck in the driveway. Bill's house. He's got some nice buildings. There's the green bins there. Really what I'm jealous about at Bill's place is the shop building. I mean, that's such a nice shop building. He's got, I mean, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Wow. Alright, so let's, let's see if we can head it over towards Rogers. I really don't know how to pilot this thing very well. I was checking my FAA uh, drone certification course, reviewing stuff before we did this. So here's Roger's place over behind us. Did I see his combine in the uh, building there? I think he's getting ready to do his sunflower field, so uh, maybe we can help him out on that. in there all right so we'll go ahead and there's our bee box there and that yeah between those trees I don't want to hit the trees I'm head over here towards the west place there's our our maple production down at the uh, south end of the field there straw bales, our old bale trailer, our half pipe trailer with stones, our slurry trailer, some more straw bales that we can get rid of. It's our building there and our cow shed, cow pasture. That grass feels going to be ready to be cut again. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. And our uh, silage pit filled.
and then head back to the farm. This is the combine in the field that we just got done harvesting. Dive bomb it. Alright. Let's try and get a good aerial view of the main farm here. Oh. Hover over Roger's soybean field, but yeah, there's the house. The garden there. Little bin we put in. And that's it, pretty much. And bring it down here gracefully and there we go there you have it sort of our little farm tour here at the uh Ohio Ridgelands map. Bill's place right there. Roger back behind us here. My farm here. And the West place right down the road over there. That was a little bit of an aerial view for you. Hope that was what you were looking for, guy. I'm going to go in and finish my lunch now. And I'll get back to work. All right, finished up a nice, robust lunch. I'm ready to get back out there and get back to work. I am charged with energy. Oh, let's see here. Nice. Excellent. All right, where to start? Not quite sure. <laughs> I've got... I've got the Jeep over here, the pickups over here, the Mahindras over here. I have a lot of stuff over here. What do I have over there that needs to be here? I think the combines, but it's not that far away. And the straight truck, I guess, was over here. That's, that's the pieces of equipment that switched places. Um, Roger did call, says he would like our help with the... Uh, sunflower harvest so we're going to get over to help him a little later this afternoon i'm going to put this back away maybe i'll go over and start picking stones we'll see i think let's see i think i want to use the the kubota here i think it's got the horsepower to do it so we got to do a little chinese jigsaw puzzle move some stuff around in here if we can. Um, not sure the best way to... I suppose right here like this? Oh yeah, that might work. And then if I move this out of the way... Let's see. Let's put it here. probably wasn't the right place to put it but and then I think I want this moved over just to give myself some more room Do I need to move that? I don't know.
So I think the fast track is the only tractor I have that we can use with this seed drill. Um, let me check this out. And then it's the fastest that we have for moving things, but more than that. Let's just leave it off to the side here. There we go. A little tight, but I wanted to get it over towards the wall. Okay, so. Yeah, we'll just leave that there for now. Kubota stone picking, right? That's what I think we said we were going to do. I don't know if I really have a whole lot of time to do this. This is the one that's got... I almost hear like static in my ears when I'm in the tractor. So I think this afternoon, the high school football coach is going to send me some players that are going to help me get my hay bales off that field. So I'm not quite sure what time they're going to be available, but we got to Gotta be ready to take advantage of that. Yep. Gosh. I should have probably got a weight. I don't know if I need it. Let's see. Milk truck's in the way. Can I get it out around that truck? I think so. Oh, where am I going to put it? Here. Alright, stone picker. Um thinking I can get past that truck might be wishful thinking. I think I probably better move that. I think I might have it. Ooh, boy. Now, if I can get a worker to do this, I can go help Roger out. So if I can do a good headland north and south on this. Actually, on the north and south ends of the field is what I'm thinking. Oh, 
Why do I not have anything over here that I can drive over to... <laughs> drive over to Rogers with? Yeah, actually, if I can get a worker, we're going on this. Thing is, they never do what you want them to do. This stone picker is gold. So much better than the other one. Um, let's see. Now you don't often use this one because I can't afford it. to the trees down here. It's okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go across the southern end of the field. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to start on the west end of the field and head east. And I'll start the worker on the west end. That way he can't make a mistake and go back over ground he's already covered if he's starting at one edge. And that'll let me get the headlands in. That's what I'm thinking. I like the uh, steering on the Kubota. It's pretty good. I think this will fill up probably fairly quickly. 30% now might be a concern. Might have difficulty leaving this uh, to a worker if it fills that quick. That's the danger is once you're full I could dump it right in the field and then come back to the wheel loader and get it. That might be an idea too. But I think if he stops, you're, you're at risk either way. We'll see. It's not filling too fast though. Should have emptied it before I started probably. head up to the top north end of the field then we'll put another headland across and we'll see if we can get a worker going on this and then shoot I got nothing down here this is where that Mahindra is supposed to come in handy so when I
turn things over to a worker, I got a way to get back instead of having to walk. Seventy thousand dollars. We got a ton of solids to sell off when it comes time. We have a decent amount of crops to sell too. Well, I've got an idea on something to maybe try and do with them. An investment opportunity, if you will. All right, so that gives me two stone pickers with of headlands at the north and south edges of the field. So, let's see if we can execute the plan here. down the edge. There we go. Alright. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, it's already half full. So how far is he going to get? And then what will he do? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go up to the combine. I'll take it back over to the house, which is going to... Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're going to take our combine back to the house. It could use a wash. I guess I could just drive over to Rogers in the combine. <laughs> I'm practically there. Spritz it off quick. Watch I drive over to Rogers in. Take the Mahindra. Because that means I'll have it with me to run over to our field when the worker gets uh, full. So I can take care of him. And then, uh, and then I can take this over there 
and leave it and come back here in the Kubota. That's my thinking. Oh man, I took that corner a little fast. I had that challenger behind me. I wanted to get out of his way. <laughs> um, drive your own drive. Don't worry about anybody else. Worry about yourself. See, park here. Let's see what Roger has for us. All right, he says, just go grab the combine and get get on it. He got some new trailers. They do side dump, but. I don't think they're gonna work. It's got this vaulter here too. It's nice. It'll be fun to try out, but um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. We may have to go get our like uh, power push trailer to work or something it's just not tall or you need something with a belly dump we'll see we'll figure it out so he's got one of these capella folding headers headed out he's adjusting it So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta fold that guy up so we can get out the door. Nice animation on that. Pretty ingenious kind of design. kind of get rid of the need to have the header trailer. Let's see. Oh, we want to attack this sunflower field. How about we just start right here? Yeah, I'm really not sure how we're going to get it into his into his grain bins. But we'll figure it out. Oh, let's see. We've got to unfold this too, right? Sunflowers. There we go. You don't have to have it dragging the uh, dirt. We just need to get the, the sunflowers off the top. The heads, so to speak. It's a neat crop. We should maybe try and do it sometime once we get uh, <laughs> once we get our corn header that'll work for it. The plan is to buy a corn head for our our case combine. Get our truck over here. Get the Mac over here with the uh, the Load King trailer with the belly dump on it. Of course, we're going to get the truck here. We might as well just take it straight into the uh, cell point. Well, 
what I need to do before he gets a crop back in this field again is I should come over here using his field to get access and get these straw bales that I've got stacked between the fields. Because the thing is, while it may not be best price, I'm already at the bale limit. So I don't want... I don't want bales sitting around that I don't necessarily need. What do I got there? Probably 10 or 12. Or more. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's like 20 there. the worst time of the year to get rid of them though. <laughs> to start a time lapse but with that guy working in the field over there I know as soon as I start one he'll end up filling up the stone picker and I'll have to go over and deal with him so we'll see if we can persevere over here a little longer Just a couple there. Try and keep this fairly straight. Maybe Forty percent full. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do about that. side tip Rogers trailers but I don't know how well that'll work Okay, we got around once. Get ready to go again. 
I think I'm gonna check on that worker to see how he's doing here. Let me grab my phone. Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of. He's been sitting over there charging me full. <laughs> I should have checked earlier. You're just sitting in one spot in the field, just sitting there with a right. He didn't get very far either before he was full. It was... Uh, let's see. Kind of silly. All right. There he is. Yeah, you can see he didn't get real far. So here's a question. Should I just dump the stones right where they're at and pick them up with the wheel loader? Because what will happen if I pull him off? I can come back later with the wheel loader and get it, I think. That's what I'm going to do. This is, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. What I'm afraid of him doing, if I don't do it this way, is that Is it when he gets down here, he'll turn back and come back the way that he already went? If I actually pull him out of the field and, I, and then try and get him started again. If there's even a chance he might do it now because I backed him up. I don't know. We'll see. Can do this whole area here either. The tree. He was too close to the tree. Workers don't like trees. <laughs> Alright, what are you gonna do, buddy? Okay, he went the right way. Let's get back to Rogers. I guess I can go this way. All right, this field's got... Is that just weeds? Or is that a crop? I can't even tell. I think it's weeds. That's just weeds. What are you doing there, Roger? Growing weeds? Reeds and stones is what it looks like he's growing in this field. Fairly prolific, too, at that. So let's get going again here. <sighs> of course, I'm half full now, so I don't know. Well, we'll just go with uh, 
we'll just go with we'll try and use uh, Rogers trailers rather than anything else. So we'll go ahead and we'll get a time lapse going here. Otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna run out of time for the episode. So we'll get a time lapse going and uh, yeah, enjoy some music. full on the uh, stone picker again. I'm going to try and make more use of workers so I can try and get this thing moving along. I also came up with an idea that why don't I take the half pipe trailer into the field and I wouldn't have to get the wheel loader later. just like excessive handling of the stones and everything um, yeah of course I may run out of room in that half pipe trailer I don't know so I'm gonna go grab the the case uh, and hook it up To the trailer. And then oh man. Of course that worker's nearly full. I guess. Keep me busy, right? Busy's not a bad thing.
course it's 3.30 now. I don't know when when those uh, football players are going to be showing up to manhandle the bales for me. He's already got two piles. It's, there's a lot of stones in that field. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna fill this, I can tell. I can tell already. This thing's gonna get filled up pretty darn quick. Oh, it's heavy too. Nebraska Jim took a turn helping us out. I think I got back far enough, didn't I? There we go. All right, who's going to take over for us? This guy. All right, get her done. All right, let's move this out of the way. I'll just park it here for now. Ah. Oh, geez, we're full over there now. <laughs> Paying workers to sit still. Yeah, right there. Yeah. In the wrong spot, too. Pipe's on the wrong side. Hard to get good help. If I can fit everything in these trailers, maybe I can go deliver. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yikes. Got going a little too quick. Got a little careless there. Okay. Hang on, buddy. Oh, we're going to take over from this guy anyway. Oh, 
There we go. Oh. We might could get, we might could just use uh, Roger's tractor trailer combo to deliver this. Oh, we got to fill this trailer. Not quite. Oh. -oh. I don't think we'll get another grain tank off of this field so let's get her done and pull up mini map there get a good heading zero nine zero Yeah, I kind of knew that wasn't going to work. <laughs> All right, so that feels dumb for Roger. I got to go. I got the high school kids showing up. I got to go get on that. Um, get those boys busy. Where did I park? Oh, <laughs> by that building. I'm gonna run to my place and get my pickup. And I'll meet the football team over at the West Place. We'll get the hay bales out of the uh, building there load it onto a trailer then we'll head over to the container field get the bales off the field there and try and get them all loaded into the container that's a lot of a lot of moving parts over here the idea is 
that if we put it on operating position, that if we grab the bales out of here and throw them on there, it'll take them. Right? Won't we'll take it out of my hand. It won't. Really? There it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down time because I get to do that, right? Turn it back to transporting position, they should be good. Well, maybe not. All right. There. Now it should be good. So I think the next thing I got to do is I got to head down to the uh, down to the container field and get get the uh, bales down there and get them put away. I think uh, we're probably out of time for the episode. I don't know. It's going to be tough to cram it all in there in editing. We'll try and do that. I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the Ohio Farm. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. See you next time.